Hi everyone, a lot of videos at the moment and I'll upload them gradually but uh, Brenda and I were just awestruck in Boromala, we thought we were in Dirigul, walking through the alleyways and um, oh what a magnificent, magnificent walk. And then within minutes we're on the waterfront and Boromala or Caspicua becomes Birgul or Vittorioza. And we, we did a video here when the ferry came in the other, the other week, but um, I call it Billionaire's Row here. And this is why. Uh, for people that like their boats like myself, this is a lazy 105 footer. I've never seen this brand before, I presume it's Italian. Whatever it is, it is absolutely magnificent. And God bless the owners. About 20 past 11, I thought we were in Boromla, but such is the setup of the three cities that within minutes you're in the next one, which is Vittorioza or Port Birgul. There's a lot of tours around this morning, you can tell the tours. Someone's holding up a flag, and this is a super, super marina. So, to paint the picture, oh, you know what, I'll go up a bit more and then I'll paint the picture of where we are. And I probably speak on behalf of Brenda as well, but this area of the three cities, which we've visited a lot in recent years, it's so diverse and beautiful for me. It's, it's probably launched itself now that if I was a tourist or advising a tourist who's coming here for uh, four or five days or a week, it's got to be in the it's got to be in the top few places to spend a morning or an afternoon in. Obviously, there's Valletta and there's Memdina and Rabat. And there's Slimmer and St. Julian's, that area. Uh, very touristy, very busy. This is totally different here. Um, we've, got, we've got the old and the new. We've got the new beautiful boats. Um, beautiful waterways here. The ferry comes in and out easy, straight from Valletta, uh, which can on t uh, I'll take you on forward to Slimmer. But then behind these walls, on all sides, lovely old culture, tradition, homes, laneways. So um, we just come from Boromla, which is up there, right? That is called Caspicua. We are now in Birgul or Vittorioza on the popular Birgul waterfront. Now this goes on for quite a way, but it's very, very easy to do by walk. I mentioned via vid uh, early on video on another video that uh, the laneways, the back alleys and things are not friendly to anyone who's got a disability or struggles to walk over here you've got no problem you've got flat ground plenty of car parking buses come through here not an issue okay wheelchair access scooter access then across the promenade here is Leesla and I talked about this on my video there's a big church up there which houses Jesus the Redeemer statue um, and I guess depending on how many stops you make Bren how many hours do people need to come and spend here properly to do the three cities? Oh, the three. Look, you could dedicate a day here, right? Get here early morning, have lunch, stop for lunch, stop for a coffee. You can even stop for dinner. You're not going to see everything in the three cities. There's no way. Um, if you just, if you've got a limited time frame and you wanted to spend a few hours, you'd head straight to this area. The Birgul waterfront or Vittorioza. Um, you'd head straight here. You'd probably get on one of these Maltese boats that I'm about to show you, a Lutzel, and do a tour of the um, harbour. And you've got to spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just going inside these walls. There are little stairways, passageways everywhere, which will put you inside the residential area. It is mind blowing. Now, here, just beyond this wall, behind these trees, you'll see some of the classics. The old city pub, that blue sign. Sotto Zero, the gelati factory, wonderful. And so on. And then on this side, we've got all the boats. So nice. So these drivers here are always here and they will take you anywhere you want to go. All around the Grand Harbour. You can do a short tour with a bunch of people, a bunch of tourists around the harbour, 25, 30 minutes. Brenda and I once sat in one of these with a drink and a fadira, 
we were tired, it was hot, and we said to the lovely driver, just take us away. And we negotiated a fee, and he took us around for over an hour, it was about an hour and a half. Every inch of the Grand Harbour we went. And my darling Brenda here, my partner in crime, keeps pointing out sights. We've got the Malta at Royal Museum ahead, and there's a happy train that passes through here, as well as the open top buses. There goes one behind me. What a coincidence. But if you're feeling a bit tired, for six euro, don't need to book nothing. Just get on here, book your ticket on board, off you go, and it'll take you right around the three cities on one of these little trains. It's a road train. We've got a whole bunch of tourists here that have been dropped off by their coaches. Tours everywhere. Uh, it's not crowded, it's only crowded in this little bit. There's a magnificent church on this side, Vittorioza Birgal. Here is an open top bus, upstairs full. Everyone taking photos, having a wonderful time, perfect day for it, it's not too hot. And here we have the Grand Harbour Marina. These boat drivers are going to be doing a roaring trade today, look at them all getting ready. All getting ready, all waiting for these people to all board their little boats. So guys, as I wind up here, and I hope my enthusiasm is coming across in a good way, because this place offers you so much. You can get around on the Maltese boat, you can get a ride on the little train, you can get a ride on the open tour bus. You can walk on your own in your own time. You can get on a guided tour. You can hop on a ferry to Valletta and onwards to Slima if you wanted to. All from this one magnificent location, Birgul, Vittorioza and Boromla. We're talking, <laughs> you know, they're 100 metres away from each other. It is truly a magnificent place. Um, and we're very lucky to be here. So I hope you enjoy this one because I really have.